welcome to find gap youtube channel and friends in the second part of this series we will learn how to install xamp which is basically a local server and second how to install vs code studio which is one of the best code editor that programmers use so basically these two softwares will be required to learn this series in the starting we will learn how we can install them on windows 11 without any delay let's start <music> Friends, first of all, here I have opened my browser and I will search for XAMPP download for Windows 11. Press enter. Google is showing me the download link in the first place. I will click on this. Make sure to download this from Apache Friends official website. Here, if you see, it is giving me different options to download XAMPP. XAMPP for Windows, for Linux and for Apple operating system as well. We have to download this for Windows and I am going to select the latest version of PHP, which is 8.2.4 i will just click on this download 64 bit when you will click on this it will move you toward this page and after a few seconds your download will automatically will be start here it is asking me that where i want to save this dot exe file i have already saved this file that's why i'm going to cancel this process here in my folder you can see that i have zam dot exe file i will double click on this press yes and it will show you this window here you can see that it is showing you a warning message don't worry about this message just press ok and from here click on next button from here you can unselect any of the program if you want to skip any of one but i recommend you to don't make any changes in this and press next button and here it is asking where you want to install your zap i means location in your pc so i just want to install it in c folder in c drive uh, with a folder zap just press next and from here you can select language i will select english press next and here it is asking that setup is now ready to be begin installing zap on your computer just press next and it will automatically start installing zap on your computer so the download process is completed now you have to click on this finish button and it will show you this control panel here it is showing you different options but you don't need to worry about them we just need two of them first of all apache server just you need to click on start and then second is mysql which is a database and we will learn about this in our this series just press on start button here next we have to create our first project in xamp to do that just simply click on your c drive and select here the xamp folder here you will see a lot of folders we don't need to worry about them just we have to deal with this hdocs folder just double click on this but before this here you will see xamp start.exe file you can just simply uh, click on this exe file and start your xamp or you can directly search from here in your start and type here xamp you will see your available app here and by clicking on this you can open this control panel so next you have to open this hdocs folder here we have to create our projects uh, so let's just create our first project i will click on new folder here and i will type here learn hyphen php in this folder i will create my first php file here right click on this select the text document and i will i'm going to name this first dot php press enter and it is asking you that uh, if you will change the extension of your file maybe uh, it is not usable but you just need to press yes because php file can be opened using a server next open your browser and type here localhost forward slash and if you type here dashboard press enter this is the dashboard of our exam by clicking on this php my admin section you can click on this and here it will show you the php my admin basically this is an admin panel to manage our database all the databases that you will create will show you at these positions and you can click on any of the database and click as many tables as you want inside your database the next part is we have to install a code editor here you can see that i have opened my browser and i will type here vs code studio download you will see this first link just click on this so this code editor is developed by microsoft we personally use this in our office and i recommend you to use vs code studio for your coding purpose it is the best code editor one of the best code editor and it also provides a lot of extensions that will make your work more easy so i recommend you to download it from their office official website here you can see the name of your website visualstudio.com and you can directly type this link or you can open by searching as i do here you can see that it is 
giving me these links uh, windows 11 because i want to download this for my windows 11 just that's why i will click on at here and it will ask me where i want to save this i will say just save in xamp folder just press yes and at this position you can see that the download has been started and its size is 88 mb here you can see that the code that you will write here will show you in different colors so you can easily understand that what what is a variable which is a function and it helps us to understand our code so one thing is it's not required that you should always use a code editor you can directly use the notepad for this purpose but that will make your coding purpose insanely difficult the download has been started now i will click on this icon it will uh, move me to the folder where our dot exe file exists just right click on this and click on open press on the run button and from here you can read this license agreement i don't have read this just press on this button i accept the agreement and next you have to click on this next button and here it is telling us that where it is going to save our this program just uh, i recommend you to do not change this and press next button again press next and again press next and click on install button so friends our installation is completed now i will click on this finish button and you can see that our code editor has been opened successfully we will use it but before this let me run our first php program in our server so as you know we have created a folder in our docs and the folder name is learn php now you have to open your browser and type here for localhost and your folder name learn php that the folder that you created in your htdocs folder here you can see that we have created this folder make sure to type it as it is so it is showing me that we have one file named first.php if i click on this uh, it is showing me empty page because we don't have write any code in our P that php file so let's just open our code editor and click open folder and it will asking you that where our folder exists and we know that our folder is exist in c drive in xam htdocs and this is the learn.php just single click on this and press select folder uh yes i trust the authors here you can see that this is our first.php file here i will type question mark php let me zoom in so basically this is the opening tag of our php and next i will just type, uh, type here echo hello world and press semicolon we will learn this in the coming tutorials but now just we only want to test that either our server is working fine or not so friends here you can see that it have echo the hello world program so friends be ready for our this complete series i will teach you all the php concepts with examples so you can become a pro in php if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer the question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching